motherfuckers. So, I had a little problem with my first recording session on this game. But... Fuck it, we're here now. We're diving head on in. I literally, this is my second time breaking the fourth wall. This is my second time recording this episode, or tr trying to at least. But, nonetheless, how's everybody's day going? Everybody's day going good? In the last episode, um, we completed the Battle for the School Part 2. We found out the super... Oh, my dude, I have been talking about new weapons... I have literally been talking about new weapons. No, not that. Where's it at? Thank you. Super bouncy ball. Ooh, peep this. Adds one extra hit to melee weapons. I'm, a, I'm feeling the frost damage right now. I'm feeling the frost damage. But in the last episode, you guys, we went to battle for the school, smacked up Kyle and his whole elven, his whole elven fortress. Well, that nigga got grilled. <laughs> okay. So we smacked Kyle up. Found out that Clyde is no longer banished from space and time. And he has the, the stick of truth. So he controls the universe. He built this big ass fortress with all like 50 plus members. So he's ready to beat ass. And he is also using the green goo to turn dead animals or anything into nazi zombies so he literally has an army of undead and kids around the town he also stole craig from cartman so i mean pretty cool but in today's episode and also we had some underpant gnomes some nighttime shenanigans just like the aliens we had underpant gnomes trying to steal underwear they got smacked up now we're trying to get back to normal size so that's where we're at in today's episode so let's just chug along Oh, some story. So we can relive it all in his head? It's better that he can't remember. But if he really has this gift, he So we have a gift. On his own anyway. And then they'll try and use him for his gift and he'll become a weapon. They won't stop looking for him. We have to keep everything secret even from him. I'm so frazzled. Will you just make love to me? Of course I will, darling. Nigga, what the fuck? <sighs> Sex noises. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> Okay, so y'all are about to witness one of the funniest parts in this whole game. <laughs> I'm not the only one that hears this on my headphones. Please, if there is any kids watching, please watch this with headphones. If you don't understand what's going on, then you are too young, my guy. Don't watch this. <laughs> like, God, Lee. South Park gets away with so much shit. It is ridiculous how much they get away with. All right, bro, this rat's pissing me off. Okay, let's fuck up this rat real quick. Oh, bitch ass, get flamed. Yeah, if y'all are watching this, please wear headphones because these niggas are going at it like a pack of monkeys. But yeah, let's fuck up this rat real quick. Oh, do you have any weaknesses, my G? Weak to shock. Do we have anything with shock on it? I did frost. Fuck. Okay, whatever. At least he slowed. Buffs of unusual size. Why did he regain health from that? My G, I need you to take this bat real quick. <laughs> Fucking up rats since day one. All right, my guy. Um, Let's get some of those buffs you got. But yeah, guys, this is my second time trying to record this because my shit fucked up. Whatever, right? Just gonna roll with it. Fuck this rat. Dead as dirt, my dude. Dead. Get grilled. <gasps> Bro. Is that weapon my new weapon? Ah, oh, it doesn't do that much damage, bro. <sighs> I hate that it doesn't do much damage. I need a new weapon. I, like, 
in desperate need of a new weapon. Okay. <laughs> I just can't with this game. Okay, let's just keep going. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I heard somebody fart. I know y'all heard that too. Yeah, I'm trying to become normal size, nigga. I'm not supposed to be three inches. So, y'all about to appreciate the background that South Park put in this game for y'all. What? Just did you dirty little bitch? Yeah, I'm a real dirty bitch. Want to see me in the panties? Okay, nigga, what? All right, first off, my G, first off, y'all about to get blown the fuck back. Y'all about to get blown the fuck back. I'm about to throw that shit again. That shit is OP as fuck. That shit is OP, dude. He's channeling. Bro, get blocked. I, I blocked too early. God damn. Okay. So yeah, I <laughs> hope y'all appreciate what South Park likes to put down in this in this little world. I got. Okay, so this dude is channeling. I'm about to kick him so hard in the nuts. Okay, now they're grossed out and they got slow damage, so they should be done. You're dead. You're dead. I don't know why he would have risked the biscuit like that. Alright, so we smacked them up. Underpants helmet? Nigga, what? Okay. So we're trying to get to this warlock and fuck him up real quick. And of course he runs to the bed where our parents are fucking. Like nigga, what? Nigga, what? My question is, why do they need underpants? I I don't remember. Oh my god, the music choice they chose for this battle. <laughs> the music they chose for this battle. That is just ridiculous. Okay. My question is, what do they need the underpants for? Like, deadass, what do they need the underpants for? Alright. Let's give you a, a swift kick in the balls. What, when was I late? Oh my... Ah, come on. Fine. Assault and battery. Maybe that ought to do a little better. I'm just trying to take this man's health up. Shrink underwear? Oh my god, I blocked too early. God, I hate when I do that, bro. I hate when I block early. Let's get that debuff off. Can I try kicking you nuts again, please? I feel like I didn't do that right. There we go. But he's immune to the... To being stunned. Oh, nigga, what? No! <laughs> That's so gross. <laughs> The, bro, the detail that that they put into this game is just ridiculous. You just call me a pig fucker? Bitch, you a pig fucker. I'm about to give you some more bleeding damage. How about that, bitch? I don't know who that nigga calling a pig fucker. Fuck off me, boy. Yeah, throw up, bitch. You better have. Okay, you better rack me again. I still did it too early. I still. It's okay. We beat his ass, anyways. We beat his ass. Hey, that's lit. Oh, nigga, that's so gross. <laughs> well, that dude got the better of it. He only took tits to destroy his body. 
Nigga, we just took our dad's dick and balls. <laughs> That's so fucking gross. How did we get back in the room? Like, literally, we just got sandbagged and we're back in the room. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, we're level 15, though. You can now shrink down to gnome size. Hold L1 and choose a gnome dust tool or tap L1 until it's selected. Pull R2 to toggle between gnome size and regular size. Use the gnome dust to tool to research areas. Cool. So we can grow big and small whenever the fuck we feel like it. Um, Cause extra damage based on how much armor you have. Defends all foes, causing attack down and defense down. I'm gonna go with that. That sounds like it'll help us out. What's up, my G? Oh, we already did that. We, we went around town in everybody's bedroom and collected that, didn't we? Alright, bro. I'm liking these necromancer robes. I put these on before the episode. These hoes are dope, my G. They're dope. I got your underpants. Damn. But he has an iPad that says iPant. But just the little details they put in this game. I mean, I I guess I widowed some gnomes and <laughs> orphans. So my bad, G. My bad. Ugh, Nick, I can't even look at y'all. Hope your new friends are well behaved. Son, I'll give you twenty dollars if you talk right now. If I talk, bro, I can't, bro, I can't. <laughs> I can't look at them. Hey, there's an emergency meeting at the Elven Forest. The Elven Forest. Okay. For right now, we're not gonna go there yet. We have a different quest we need to go finish. Yes, I know. We did have like two or three episodes straight where we did side quests. We have one we need to go take care of real quick. And it's You seem like a pretty nice kid. And it's part of Jimbo's big game hunting. We gotta go fight the penis mouse that's in here in the sewers. So it's time to get lost again, my G. It is time to get lost again. If y'all don't remember from the first time we came down here, we were lost as shit. So, let's see if I can find this mouse. What is this? Cool, cure potion. Um, let's see. Can I go this way? Okay, what it says? What the fuck? Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Um, what's down here? No, that's where we had to go find Cornwallis. Let's check up this ladder. All we're trying to do is just find this penis mouse and just sandbag it and just see what happens. This it? Hey, lit! It's a dead ass. It's the penis. I remember the penis mouse episode. That's when, uh... Not what we need right now. What's the teacher's name? What is the teacher's name? Oh, Mr. Garrison, Mr. Garrison, when he became, uh, when Mr. Garrison, when Mr. Garrison became a woman and he got his penis removed, um, they used, they wanted to donate his penis for science, which he did. And so they attached it to this penis mouse. And then when Mr. Garrison wanted to turn back into a man, because being a woman wasn't everything he thought it was going to be. He tried to get it back, or he tried to go back and say, hey, I want my penis back. I want to become a man again. He's like, uh, we sold your penis. He's like, what the fuck you mean you sold my penis? And they sold it to science. They sold his penis to science, and they put it on this mouse. They put it They put it on this mouse. So, bro, somebody is blowing up my shit. What the fuck? They put it on this mouse to, uh... I just tested I guess they were just doing animal testing like for random bullshit and they had this whole episode where the penis mouse was running around town they were trying to catch it <laughs> if y'all haven't seen that episode please go and watch it that shit is hilarious but that was faster than I thought I thought we were gonna get lost as hell looking for that thing like dead ass I thought we were gonna get lost as hell looking for that so let's go talk to Jimbo real quick which peep this if you didn't know Jimbo is also Stan's uncle. If you don't pay attention to the cartoon show, it is also Stan's uncle. So we're gonna go talk to Jimbo Hello, real quick and see what he has to say about us killing. Okay, and we and we have to go talk about uh oh shit, and we have to go talk to him about we killed that bacteria in the school. 
when we had the battle for the school and went to go fight the the bacteria before we took on Kyle. So let's go see what happens. All right, Jimbo, what you got for us? I think we what need one more after this. Man, you showed that bacteria what a real yeah, see, we took out the bacteria. That mouse was making us all look bad in more ways than one, isn't it? Speak for yourself. I can't wait to see what you kill next. Cool. Got a Mr. Yuck Patch. Is that it? Oh, there's something over here. We also got animal testicles. Cool. Let's put fucking cure potion. Of course. Something we already have too many things of. Um. I think we just have one more. Use a serving of poutine. Putin. To find and defeat the Canadian barking spider of Queefing Caverns. Really, Maji? Okay. So we we only have one more for Jimbo. So that's we're almost done with like all the side quests. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's the last of the side quests. But we have an emergency meeting at the Elven Forest. So let's go see what that is all about. Let's go see what that's about. Were they waiting on me the whole time? Like nigga, what? A great evil has descended upon us. After researching last night, I believe we are facing a threat to our entire world. Clyde's Fortress of Darkness is over four stories tall. God the damn. At least 50 warriors to be on his How did he build that in two days? This childish ass nigga. something to say, wizard? Uh, nothing. Just think it's kind of funny how drow elves in the Middle Ages can use PowerPoint. You guys, this is serious. Clyde is attempting to... But for, how did he build I that fucking to tower in two days? He has recruited many of our friends and so our only hope is for our two factions to join forces. Fuck. Dad, you <laughs> team up with fucking elves. Damn. the Battle of Wormsley Woods, you think we'll ever trust you? Yeah, you, you tell a butter that that was Jimmy's fault and he apologized. Oh, oh, we're apologizing now. How about we apologize for breaking the rule about using arcane fire magic? Yeah. Hey, that was the human's rule, not ours. Join forces my paladin ass. Only good elf is a dead elf. Damn. Stuck my elven dick butters. Enough. <laughs> the nigga <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Bro, Kyle, I'm doing something right now, my G. Please. I'm doing something right now, my G. Stop. Even if we join forces, we don't have enough warriors. So we recruit more factions to join us. The Pirates, the Federation, and the girls. The girls? Kyle, the girls are not going to fucking play with us. Yeah, dude, we can't convince girls to do this. No, but maybe the new kid can. The new kid has a So we're trying to recruit the girls now? friends on Facebook faster than any we have seen. He is really good at getting Facebook friends. I'll give him. How is that a power? Find a way to get the girls to side with us, Commander Douchebag. I'll deal with the other factions. The rest of you, return to your stations and prepare for war. Huzzah! Huzzah! Okay. I like how everybody picks up their chair so politely. We got my nigga Kyle as a buddy. And Cartman. Okay. Cartman is not the best buddy in this game. But look how all the OG ass niggas are finally here in one place fighting together talk to annie let's go find annie i feel like we can annie's over there by the courthouse right where we helped her last okay yeah, yeah, yeah. okay let's go talk to annie I, I wanted to end the episode off right there but i believe we can talk to annie real quick we got to recruit the girls stay out of the lost forest sure, but guys to be honest we're almost done out. with this game now the I'm going to tell you right now, the funniest part of this game was the, what, uh, your parents having sex and you getting squished on. But it's not the most fucked up one. We haven't got to that part yet. Hey, what Annie. What is this? The boys want us to play with them? Hell yeah. I do owe you one. I can take you to the girls, but I don't think they'll be very willing to play with boys. Do you wish to speak to the girls now? Yeah, I'm getting another side quest to do, so let's go talk to the girls. Let's see what the girls say. We have not seen the girls, the main girls, at all in this game so far. Orlando Bloom? What the fuck? The nigga from... High School Musical? Who the fuck is that? What the fuck? I don't know who the fuck that is. Nigga, what? My nigga does not speak. That's hot. The 
boys are playing Baby, what the fuck? And the new kid here wants us to join his team. What? We don't have time for that. Something very big happened and we must do something. I you know go, what? I maybe he could help. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I glitter Annie's idea. Sunshine Sparkle, a motion has been glittered to have the new kid help with Monica Ryland. All right, new kid, look. There are terrible rumors going around town that our good friend Allie Nelson was spotted at the abortion clinic. Nigga, what? These niggas are like fucking eight years old. We aren't sure, but we think the girl spreading the rumors about Allie is Monica Ryland. And then she has the gall to act all nice to me. We have to know for sure if Monica Ryland is a two-faced bitch or not. So, we're gonna send Monica This is literally how some females are, too. Then tell her that you're Bebe's boyfriend from Lakewood, and you want to meet her and ask her what the best thing to get Bebe for her birthday would be, and see if Monica tries to hit on you at all, because that way, we can see if Monica is a manipulative bitch. Right. Do this task for us, and the girls will consider your request. Sparkle! Sunshine! Nigga, that's literally how some females are. Like, what the fuck just happened? You'll find Monica waiting for you at the park. All you have to do is pretend to be Bebe's long-distance boyfriend. When the job is done, come see me. Okay. You to do, remember, we need their help. Okay. So we just talked to the girls. They want to find out if Monica Ryland is a two-faced bitch or not. I'm just... I can't with the fact that one of those girls... That they have the gall to make a rumor about one of those eight-year-old girls being spotted at the abortion clinic. <laughs> These niggas are eight years old. They're in the fourth grade. <laughs> I fucking can't. I think we've had our fill for the day's episode. In the next episode, my G, we'll go talk to whoever this chick is and try to help the girls out and see what happens then. But other than that, guys, I'll see you when I see you. Bye.